Hi there. My name is Trevor Williams. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at the South Shore YMCA. And I want to share with you the number one question we've been getting lately is, what's it like back at the Y? So I thought we'd take you on a walk and show you around. Get you a little bit more understanding of what's been going on at your Y while you've been gone. Just like uh, before COVID, you still come to the front desk with your scan card and check in. Just now, we ask you to give a little bit of space between you and the other people. You'll see the markers on the floor. We have plexiglass dividers to try to keep the staff safe. We're also maintaining six foot or more social distancing to make sure that people don't get too, too close together. This is probably the biggest change you'll notice. It's pretty quiet. This is a typical afternoon. It's going to get a whole lot busier than this. We want it to get a little bit busier, but you're going to find that there's a lot less people coming per day than when you, uh, uh, your memory serves you before COVID. Our snack bar is not open at this time, and it, won't, it will not uh, reopen for quite a while. We're going to have this amenity back in service, but after we get up and running post-COVID or post-vaccine. Let's talk a little bit about the pool. So the pools are still open. It's just now we've tried to make it so that there's a little bit more physical distancing. So you make reservations for the pool. It's really easy to do. Uh, our members have had no real trouble doing that. And if you ever did have trouble, just call the desk. They can help you. So you make a reservation. That way we know how many people are going to use the pool each hour of the day. But the water's just as good as it was before, uh, before COVID. We have a lot less programs than we did before. We're slowly bringing them back. So we have about 35 to 40 group exercise classes a week. But we teach most of our group exercise classes in the field house. Let's go take a look at it. So as you can see, the field house gives us plenty of space to separate. We have basketball court reservations so that you and your family could play on one quarter of a court and not have to worry about other people in uh, your area. And then all of the group exercise classes right now are being taught on this big turf area. Okay, so as you can see, we've moved all of our group exercise equipment to the turf. So we can teach all of our classes right out here. This morning there was a yoga class going on, we had body pump going on, spinning takes place at the end. And the nice thing is we have so much square footage that you can put 35 feet between you and the next participant if you like. Everybody's just allowed to spread out. And the nice thing about facilities our size is that we can actually bring group exercise inside the building now that it's darker and colder. And we can give you plenty of space with these great big rooms with really, really good air circulation. So how would you like to take spin class in this environment? Now, as you can see, our indoor cycling classes are taking place on the turf. The bikes are very far apart from one another. And by the way, this is a brand new bike. We just got all bikes replaced last week. So you'll be riding on a brand new bike in a space that's very well spaced apart. I should also point out while we're here that the track is still wide open. You can still come indoors and walk or jog on the indoor track anytime you like. You don't need a reservation for that. So right now, the only things you would need to make a reservation for are the pools, the playroom, and field house uh, time. So if you and your family wanted to shoot baskets in the field house, you could, you could reserve, reserve, reserve a time for that as well. Wow. Walk upstairs and see what wellness is like. Okay, so uh, you might have noticed on our videos we've moved around that all of our members are wearing face masks. You do wear your face mask for the entirety of your visit with a few exceptions. The first exception is obviously if you're swimming or showering. Uh, but when you come up to the wellness department, you will keep your mask on. You'll check in at the desk just like you usually would, and they're going to give you a sanitized cleansing bottle. You take that bottle with you, you clean after yourself, and the staff will clean after yourself too. Then when you're done with that spray bottle on your way out, 
we put it back in the used bottles and we'll sanitize it before the next person uses it. Let's take a closer look around. So as you can see, we space things pretty far apart. This used to be a line of equipment that was right next to each other. Lots more space now. Right? This is all an attempt to get physical distance. So the spacing of the equipment is greater. The spacing of the strength equipment is also greater. And then we also know how many people are in our building at one time. So we can help spread people out. The floor layouts also have to do with where equipment is. For example, let me show you the freeway area. At one point, that would have been our freeway area. Now we have four freeway areas so that people can exercise not all in the same square footage. We can move you around so that there's plenty of space and that you don't feel like you're as close to other people as you have to be. Let's take a walk and I'll show you the other side. Turned all of our studios into other places to exercise because as I showed you earlier you're taking all your group exercise classes in the big spaces. So in this particular studio we've taken all the stretching equipment that used to be out on the fitness and wellness floor and put it into the studio. So this would be a place where you could come and stretch and not be necessarily around as many people as you would have. Staff are still here to help you. They're still working with all of our members to make sure you're getting a very safe and efficient workout. As you can see upstairs, it's not all that busy either, so it's kind of like having your own private facility. So in this particular studio, we moved a whole lot of functional training equipment, including dumbbells and barbells. Again, trying to separate people so we don't have just one free weight area. We have multiple now, so you can choose your own space and make sure you're comfortable in that, in that environment. So I think you can get a pretty good sense but the Y is open, it's clean, we have a lot of great procedures in place to keep you safe. What we now just need is you. We want you to come on back, feel safe to be back at your Y. We'd love to give you your own personal tour so that it kind of matches up with this particular tour. You'll see that this is one of our normal times. This is about a normal flow of traffic. So we'd love to come and give you a tour, but we'd love to just see our, all of our members come back. When you're comfortable, let us help you do that and hopefully we'll see you soon.